Today we will be talking about the Live Arena video converter and put it to use as a capture card for a console, the Nintendo Switch. First of all, I wish to thank Croxel Esports for providing me with this card. And I am most grateful because I'm not really technical adept and this card is about as plug and play as it gets. So I will be putting it through its paces and essentially check if this thing is idiot proof. So here we go. Here you can see my Nintendo Switch put close to my computer in the dock. And I am using the included HDMI cable to connect to the capture card. <laughs> And as you can see, this is pure plug and play. You just plug it into the capture card and then you plug the capture card into the computer itself. No problems whatsoever. Once inside the Windows, the device will be recognized immediately and can be imported into your streaming software. And as you can see, I'm using OBS Studio here. So I'm simply clicking the video capture device and as you can see here, Live Arena Video Converter, and I'm using the device defaults with the buffering disabled, since I'm just using this for um, recording. Then we have Use Custom Audio Device, Digital Audio Interface, Free Live Arena or Audio Converter. I don't know if that is necessary, but I'm basically doing that because for safekeeping. And uh, once you fix those settings, it is essentially good to go with one minor detail. You go to sounds, and you go to recording, you go to digital audio interface, you right click properties, and then you choose listen, and then you choose listen to this device. And the reason you do this is because if you don't, you uh, can't hear your device. And the reason this is important is you won't be playing the Switch at your TV. This will essentially be your screen for the duration of the playthrough. So if you want to play your Switch on your TV and record that, this is not going to be for you. So I'm going to be starting up the Switch now. And we are going to switch to the Live Nation screen. And as you can see here, we have the Switch booted up and good to go. So from this point onward, I will simply be playing different games and giving my impression on how it feels to play them through OBS and giving you a chance to see how everything looks through the lens of the viewer. So I will be starting with Super Smash. This is obviously a very popular title on the Switch. And the reason I want to show it off is obviously because I can get the impression that there are people who want to record their online matches or stuff like that, so... However, there's a problem with all of this. I'm not very good at Smash, so this this is gonna be hilarious. I have... I don't think I ever have recorded myself playing Smash online before, and the only one I'm ever fairly decent at is Mario. So obviously we are going to be playing as Mario and we are going to be we are going to see if we are going to get a decent match or if I am going to be absolutely Okay, so we don't even get that much time with We didn't even get much warm up time. I haven't played this in a while. So we're playing against Little Mac. And so this is going to be 1 versus 1. Yeah, this is going so fucking well. As long as I can evade him, it's gravy, but... I don't know if how long I can actually do that. So yeah, I'm gonna be smashed out. To no one's big surprise, I might add. So yeah, I can't even execute the moves pr and 
before you start to go blaming the capture card, this is not the capture card's fault. This is me being absolutely trash at Smash. We actually did something. Ah, crap. So, he got the KO. I'm not really surprised. So, we are going to be eva evading. Yeah, not even... We couldn't even turn that one into our advantage. At most, I think we can uh, annoy him. Yeah, that... I think he took out the victory in advance there, actually. Yeah. And that's a loss for us. Like I said, I'm not really surprised, but I didn't really have much problems with the controls. So, the controls worked just fine. So, we're just, we're just going to applaud him and we go, we're gonna tap out here. So, we are gonna proceed to Super Mario Maker 2. This is also a game where your reflexes and ability to control your character quickly and efficiently is very important as you might be f if you're familiar with my channel you know that I pre I previously had this thing where I were live streaming when I was playing other people's maps so we're going heading on to course world and we're just gonna find one of the maps I think that I do know so we are gonna be checking out we have some of the auto scrolls here we have the boss battle we have the dry bones boss battle uh mommy runny level new mario bros one free short and sweet i still have the record on this six seconds not sure i can complete it that quickly now but we, we, we can have we can we can try it So yeah, jumping is just fine here. Yeah, jumping is feels responsive and okay. So obviously, the 60 frames per second works just fine. Uh, we're gonna start over. Uh, we we got pretty close to our previous best score. And we got eaten by the giant turtle. Let's tr let's try it for times to charm, and then we'll switch to a completely different map. That was close. So let's just switch to another map, and. Uh, well, there is, there's always oof, which is kind of fun, but I think we're gonna try Mummy Runny's level. Apparently, my record on that one is 7 seconds. So I'm gonna try this one, see if uh, we can get it done. So apparently, this is someone's mom's first level. I can't, I don't even remember this one, so... <laughs> yeah, that went well. But that, at least that was my mistake, not theirs, so... That was my mistake again. God damn it. Me and me making all the mistakes in the world. And the same goddamn mistake. But at least the controls feel like I'm playing on my TV. It's... <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna give this up now. Uh, let's move on to Starlink. We don't necessarily need to stay with each game all that 
long. All we have to do is confirm that the footage comes out clear and that the game feels okay on playing even on a computer setting. Now, I have to admit, it's kind of comfortable playing it this way. And if you're going to be streaming, then I can... Then I can appreciate the fact that I have my microphone right here, I have the stream chat available right here. I mean, I don't actually see any clear disadvantages with this, uh, other than the fact that playing in front of a TV is much nicer. I mean, that is the thing that most of the console people have got going right for them. So, we are going to... Hmm, that's interesting. Uh, I just so we're just going to click continue here, and I just realized there was a bit of a problem with the audio there, so I'm I might have fixed it. Uh, apparently, the desktop audio and the Live Nation audio both were playing the same into OBS. And that might have reflected on the recording. We'll, we'll, we'll see if the audio has improved after this one. But if, if that's the case, then that's just one more thing for you to think about. They're on someone's tail. Sage, let's talk to that pilot. Channel open. What's up? Looks like you're in trouble. Beat it before I beat you. You got a funny way of saying thanks, pal. Uh, what do you know, Snoop Brain? Maybe I'm luring Legion into my trap. But so long as you're here, I'll let you take a few pot shots at him. Yeah, you will. So yeah, Starlink feels alright. Less impressive on this small screen, of course, but that is to be expected. So let's bombard this guy with some missiles. And let's see if we can find some other ships to engage. Target destroyed. Keep it going. That went, it was a straight head-to-head -head and... Ships are the same size. Math isn't your thing, is it? Ha! Feisty too. I like it. Maybe we'll meet again. All right. So Starlink worked fairly decent as well. So let's go to Pokemon, and I have to say that uh, obviously a capture card like this is perfect for Pokemon, since the overworld doesn't really require that much in terms of quick reflexes and uh, that was essentially my my take on things when i had the input lag so it's going to be interesting to see how it uh, works now that i sorted that thing out so we're going to have we're going to poke the mushroom and apparently someone doesn't like that so we're going to have a battle right away. Our wild impidimp are going to, and we will send out our loyal teacup. So we are gonna have the fight. We are gonna have the Giga Drain, and they use torment, which is fairly rude. And we used that thing, and the impidimp uh, has fainted, and we win the battle. Nice, easy simple. Everything seems to be working well on Pokemon Sword, so we'll be closing that software and we will be moving on. Uh, we could try Super Mario Odyssey, of course, uh, or we could try... Yeah, we can actually try Sega Mega Classics. Now, Sega Mega Classics is not actually all that good. This is actually one game where I have all the buyer's remorse in the entire world. Because the emulation in this title just isn't that 
good. And it reflects on essentially everything. So, I don't know why Sega li licensed this to people who obviously could not deliver on the technology, despite the... Despite the... That being in their title. So, we are gonna go to the game slide. Also, this way of selecting games. It's novel the first time you do it. Then it gets fucking tedious. As you might have noticed here, there is a bit of input lag, but this is not due to the video card. This is actually due to... This is actually due to uh, the emulation being just utter shit. So even though I'm a fairly decent Sonic player, my timings just becomes obsolete. Because whoever programmed this emulator just did not do a good job. And I can just whine about that for the duration of this gameplay test. And why shouldn't I? I mean, if I pay good money for a... And the same thing happens again, because due to lack of proper proper timing. So I'm not even gonna bother with that one much more than that. So let's try Sonic Mania. Just for the comparison. Just. For. The comparison. Sega. If you like Sonic and haven't played Sonic Meg Mania, then I have to wonder what the hell are you doing with your life? So we're going to put on a new save just because of that. Wait, Dr. Robotnik got the reality stone, right? More or less. As you can see, controls are much more fluid here. I have a lot more control over, over Sonic. And the fucking music, Sonic Mania, I fucking love you. Like I said, if you're not playing Sonic Mania, what the fuck are you doing with your lives? This is the kind of the, this is the kind of uh, difference that input lag can do, and it's why I make such an issue of uh, m mentioning it and essentially also telling you how to fix it. Because if you run this at 30 FPS, then you are going to be in for a bad time. Meanwhile, we are running this at 1080p, 60 FPS, things are running smoothly. Can't really complain about it, really. Oh crap, that, that's the worst timing ever, but we, we did well. Bring me Robotnik! Ah, crap. Sadly, the boss music is nowhere as impressive as it is on the first Sonic game. I mean, the boss music in Sonic 1 is always going to be the best one. So now you have been introduced to Sonic Mania, and obviously you want to buy Sonic Mania and play Sonic Mania a lot, so... 
Fort Boyard is not really a good game, so I'm a bit hesitant about that. We can, we can check the rest of the software, what we actually got. Uh, we haven't... Revolution, Night Trap, not downloaded. We have Tetris 99. We have Mario Rabbit's Kingdom Battle. That is actually a s sweet, sweet game. We have Mario Party that we can test. Um, actually kind of keen on... Well, let's finish things off. Let's finish things off with Mario Odyssey. Just so you can see how Mario Odyssey looks on this. Because this capture card is, in my opinion, best used in combination when you're playing alone. All you need, to, all you want to do is just have your your screen here and maybe while you're streaming. But like I said, Mario. since you are gonna have to run this at... Since you're gonna have to run this at 60, uh, 60 FPS, your connection is going to have to be up to it as well. Now, Super Mario Odyssey is a bit of a tragedy, in my opinion. It is the ga it is a game I absolutely feel is a good one, but it is not a game I play all that often, and I don't know why. I haven't even finished it. I haven't even... This is as far as I've come in, in the game. And for some reason, I haven't actually played it more than that. And like I said, I don't know why. I like it. I mean, I love the style. I love the adventure. I love the different references. I love the mini, the puzzling, the puzzle things that comes with essentially putting it your hat and using your hat to wipe away Goombas. Like, there's... The, Super Mario Odyssey is a game I like. So, n me not playing it is actually kind of, kind of silly. But as you can see, <laughs> I, I'm not really good at it either, but uh, that doesn't matter at this point in time. We can evade the Goombas, we don't- oh, a bullet. Oh, bullet bill. We can't really evade bullet bill and so we simply have to evasive pattern set evasive pattern omega evasive pattern omega like i said i like this oh crap there's a giant penis! Why is there a giant penis here? No! Leave me alone, you giant penis! So, let's just head into this little retro 2D stage, which is also one of the things I absolutely adore about Super Mario Galaxy. Uh, sorry, Super, Mar Super Mario Odyssey, not Super Mario Galaxy. And we lost our last heart, so that'll have to be enough for now. But I hope that I have given you a decent impression of the capacities of the Live Nation uh, card. And especially used with uh, the Nintendo Switch. So I'm really sorry that I can't try it on like a PlayStation 4 or an Xbox, but I don't actually have those consoles. So, you'll simply have to make do, and I can't imagine the procedure being any different on the other consoles. And, once again, thank you for to Cruxel, who very generously supplied me with this card, knowing that I just required an easy solution and nothing else. And that is, by the way, the title of this is gonna be First Impressions, or basically anything but a review. So, thank you, thank you, thank you. And I hope I have been of help to anyone else looking f to get a capture card. And uh, essentially just have a good day.